Good morning, everyone. I am Tony. I am a full-time gig worker and a mom. Uh, welcome to my channel and welcome to my office. And it is currently 8.52 a.m. And I am on my way to Starbucks to get my coffee so we can start this day and go out there and make that money, honey. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I don't know what we're doing today. Uh, we're gonna try to battle the summer slowdown, uh, but I wanted to kind of enlighten you guys and tell you guys about a couple of uh, situations that had happened to me. Uh, one in particular with Instacart when my account was hacked. Um, I just want to spread awareness out there for you guys. I didn't do anything wrong and uh, it happened overnight. So I wanted to let you guys know about that and also about what had happened to me the other day when I was Instacarting and uh, it was in the middle of a shop and it just, the app glitched. So um, if that sounds like something that you guys are interested in, here are my Instacart stories for today. Just stay tuned and there's more to come. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this week has been a really rough week. I have barely made anything close to what I want to make. It's just been probably one of my slowest weeks ever, I would say. It's almost noon, so it's been a bit since I last talked to you. I did one stacked DoorDash order and I did two corner shops. But that's not what today is about. Today, I'm not gonna talk to you about earnings and I'm not gonna take you along for a ride along. I wanna talk to you about my Instacart experiences. So, about a year ago, it was July of 2020, I believe. It was a normal day, you know, um, I don't remember what day of the week it was. It was the other beginning of the week. I think it was like a Tuesday or something. And I woke up, I think it was like five in the morning. I got up and I had um, an email from Instacart that says your password has been changed or some, something along that lines about my um, phone number or my password. Uh, associated with my shopper account has been changed and it says it you know it has a link to click if you didn't make this change click here so first thing I tried to do is sign into my account when now the email was from three something in the morning that's when that email was sent so somehow somewhere at three something in the morning while I was sleeping in my bed Somebody hacked into my Instacart account. There had to have been a breach. There had to have been because I didn't click on any links. I didn't get any phone calls. I didn't give out any codes. None of that stuff happened to me, nothing. So when I went to go sign in, it said that the account, there was no account that existed with my phone number and my email address. And everything had been changed, everything, okay? So, I went back to the email and I pressed, you know, if you didn't make these changes, click here. But that was the problem. Everything had been changed already a couple of hours ago. So everything I tried to do wouldn't work. So I found a phone number and I called the phone number. And the problem I was having is they were saying, well, we can't find an account with, you know, your information like I know because somebody hacked into my account and changed it all Dude, I had the hardest time even contesting this because they couldn't figure it out finally I think I I finally got somebody who knew what they were talking about after numerous emails and then they they tell me that they would email me back within 24 hours and I never heard anything. It was ridiculous. I was so disappointed with Instacart in the way that they handled it. Um, they made it impossible for me to reach out to anyone because all my information had been changed. So the people who I was reaching out to couldn't find me in the system. You know how I ended up getting a hold of somebody and getting this all taken care of 
it was through Instagram. That's how I ended up getting, and, I, and Twitter, but I went into one of the Facebook groups and I was looking it up. This was around the time that I think a lot of people were having this problem. A lot of people were getting hacked and things like that. So, um, and I tried these numbers that they gave me and trust and safety and all, everything, but nobody ever contacted me back. I didn't get my account back until I think it was 12 days later, almost two weeks. Meanwhile, this whole time, I couldn't work doing Instacart. I got lucky though. The week that this happened to me happened to be the same week that I got approved through Shipped. So I was able to work Shipped because at this time, Instacart was my main source of income. I mean, I was still active on DoorDash and Grubhub and all of those, but at this point in time when this happened to me, I was doing Instacart every day. So when this happened, I believed I had $79 in the bank, you know, but, cause Instacart, I think they pay you on Thursdays. So it was like a Tuesday this happened and that money was there, but for some reason, somehow they didn't change the bank account information or they tried to and couldn't or didn't update. I was able to get my account, like once I finally got through to somebody and they realized what was going on, I was able to get my account deactivated temporarily so that the hacker couldn't use my account. So that's how I was able to get paid. Funny thing is, since it took a while for Instacart to actually like block my account, the hacker picked up an order, completed an order, which I got paid $10 for. <laughs> but the hacker was from Massachusetts, which is funny because I'm originally from Massachusetts. The significance to this is my phone number is a Massachusetts phone number. So I have the 781 area code, not the typical Florida 727 or 813. So I find it very strange that the hacker didn't know I live in Florida now. Um, I don't know how this all came about. I honestly do not know how they got my information, but they picked up a batch at CVS. Something had to have gone wrong with it because they didn't get, the tip got pulled. So they probably didn't complete the order or they said they completed it and they did it. I don't know. So I probably have those ratings against me, but you know, Instacart will say that I don't. They'll say that they updated it, but they didn't. I was so surprised. Like when I got my account back finally and I signed in, I thought for sure I was going to have to change my bank account and everything, but it wasn't the case. The, the hacker, whoever it was, somebody in, um, I think it was Chelsea, Massachusetts, uh, which is um, near Boston. So lucky for me, I was able to get my account back. But like I said, I had to tag Instacart in a post on Instagram. And that's how I got them to respond. So actually, even now, the next thing that I tell you about that happened to me, I wrote, reached out to Instacart through Instagram. I made sure I found the Instacart account that has the blue check mark to show that it's verified. And they answer me right away. Like not just me, but in general. So if you ever, ever have a problem, like a legit problem or concern with Instacart that is something that needs to be taken care of immediately. And I'm not talking about a bad rating, like, or a customer saying something's missing. I'm talking about account issues, or your account getting locked out, or the photo isn't, um, they didn't accept the photo. You know, important things like that. Reach out to Instacart through Instagram. I'm telling you, they answer right away. So, that's that. And I wanted to tell you guys about what happened to me the other day. I'm gonna stop home first, grab myself my shake for lunch, and I will get back to telling you guys. All right, guys, it is now like later on at night. I think it's eight something, 8.30. And I've been pretty much out all day, off and on, um, DoorDash, Uber. I mean, making minimum wage, maybe a little bit more than minimum wage. I'm not happy with the way these orders have been coming. 
not happy with it, but that's not why I'm here. So the second thing I wanted to tell you guys about what happened to me is I think it was over the weekend I was doing an Instacart batch, okay? It was a single batch, it was a $50 batch, okay? It was a $40 tip and like $10 Instacart payment. And I was halfway through shopping the items and all of a sudden uh, the app started like circling like there's a problem with service or something and it, you know, the view app diagnostics was down below and it wouldn't stop. So, you know, sometimes you have to force close the app. Well, I didn't even have a chance to force close the app and the whole thing shut down on me. And when I opened it back up, I got a notification saying that um, the batch was canceled and that canceling batches goes against my cancellation rating and can cause deactivation. I was like, what? I didn't cancel anything. Dude, the batch was gone. It was completely gone. Um, I messaged chat and they were, they told me they couldn't help me. They couldn't give me the batch back and that when they looked further into it, it said that the batch was removed from my account because of poor service at the store or poor internet reception at the store. Well, that's not my fault. I've had plenty of stores that I've been shopping at like Aldi's. We all know Aldi's is infamous for having bad service. but. They never took batches away from us because of it. Like, I couldn't believe it. A $50 batch. It was hard enough for me to get that batch. And then they go and take it away from me for no reason at all. I was, I was so angry. Um, I feel bad for the customer. Like, what was the customer thinking? Like, halfway through shopping, I just gave up. But, you know, what's funny is that without even asking, the chat support agent assured me that it wouldn't go against me because it wasn't my fault and they offered me a, a bump now i could have sworn i heard like jen on the go if you don't um watch jen on the go she is like a reporter for instacart all things instacart she's great i love her you should go check out her channel but she had said that chat support had reached out to her previously and told her that didn't chat support's not allowed to give out bumps to us anymore well they gave me a five dollar bump like woohoo thanks that that really helped me out when I was supposed to get fifty dollars you know but I mean it was better than nothing but I didn't even ask for it they offered it and they gave it to me and it did go against my cancellation rating my cancellation rating went up one percent so I again went to Instagram and reached out to Instacart through Instagram and asked them about it and because everybody's saying that when you cancel a batch that they lock you out for 24 hours and you cannot see batches and you cannot accept batches for 24 hours. Well, that didn't happen to me either. So I don't know, like, because I, I haven't canceled a batch in like, like well over a year, you know. But uh, I don't know. They didn't lock me out. So I thought it was just strange. So on Instagram, what Instacart told me is that because it wasn't my fault, that I wasn't going to get penalized or punished for it, but they can't control the percentage for the cancellation rate because that has something to, has to do with something else. But in the event that I do get deactivated at some point, and it's because of my cancellation rating, they said that the note would be in my account for me to fight it and get my account reactivated. Hmm. So I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't go to that point, but I just wanted to let you guys know these two Instacart stories that I had. If you guys have any Instacart stories that you would like to share, I would love to hear them. Put them down in the comments and then maybe we could help each other and give each other tips. And you know, I always feel that there's always something that can be learned from somebody else's mistakes or somebody else's problems. So I love to help people and I love to be helped by others. All right guys, that's it. I hope you like this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Go make that money, honey. Peace out.